Welcome to the Polaris Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to go over 20 tips and tricks which will help you survive in Polaris. If you guys do learn something new and want to see episode 2 come out as soon as possible, where in that one we cover more advanced and end game tips and tricks, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, a huge percentage of you guys watching right now are not yet subscribed and I would really appreciate it. Last video I announced the Mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you are watching right now, make sure to join my discord and contact me from there. The link is in the description below. Today we're going to roll another one, to have a chance to win this Mythical, make sure that you've liked, subscribed and comment something below. Show members have a higher chance to win and if you wish to become a member, the link is in the description as well. I also want to give a shout out to all channel member gifters for their huge support to the channel. If you guys are looking to play on good quality Polaris servers, I'm currently running a few which are different in their own way. Example one is a vanilla server and another one is high times load. If you guys do wish to play there, all the IPs, ports and the discord invite link will be in the description below. And I will be recording a survival series. So looking forward to meeting you there and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. You can forge axes and pickaxes from certain areas. You can craft wooden axes and pickaxes with just two wood. Around the map you can forge several materials such as metal, wood and also wheat. Around the map there are barrels which can contain dead zone and high tier loot, such as armored plates, cyan crystals, bevlar, golden nuggets, gun oil, raid stocks, refurbished moles and skins, industrial copper coil, leather bundles, metal and all types of ammunition. You can heal yourself with normal cloth, you don't have to craft rags or bandages first and it gives you 5 HP and it stops bleeding as well. You can punch crates in several areas around the map and they can drop weapons such as shotguns and pistols. They can also drop ammunition such as shells, 9mm boxes, 9mm magazines, 5.56mm boxes and 5.56mm magazines. You can also hotkey melees which they don't have to be in the primary or the secondary section. So you can always run around with two firearms. Compact binoculars can be increased or decreased from 8 times to 16 times. You can stack cloth, metal and copper coil. Cloth will be made into rope, metal into sheets and sheets can be made into cans and copper coil into industrial copper coil. Rope, cans and coil can all be placed in your base as decoration. Around the map you can find various ATMs wherein there you can put your in-game currency from where you can buy various items from the safe zone such as weapons and many craftable items such as steelies. To get easy money, in Tag Bro there is a bank, which from there you can find bronze, silver and gold coins. Construction zombies can drop many important items, such as blowtorches, jackhammers, wrenches, gas cans, generators and many more crafting supplies. Generators are used to craft horde beacons and sentries. To build metal bases, you will need to put your metal scrap into metal sheets. Most items, such as scrap walls, require 6 sheets. To upgrade scrap buildables into armored, you would need to farm armored blades and a blowtorch. The easiest way to get armored plates is to go to the dead zone and kill zombies. Armored plates can also be placed in your base. In order to craft a door, you'd only need 4 wood. Scrap corners can be a cool way to design the roof of your base. Also can be quite powerful to defend your base if you hide behind them while placing them in a corridor. You can salvage a scrap wall into 3 ramparts. The same goes from scrap pillars where these will give you 2 posts. Mega Zombies at Military Base can drop items such as sentry barrels, broken gas masks, grenade launchers and military drives, all very important to progress Polaris. To upgrade a scrap locker to an armored locker or display armored locker, you will need to get armored plates first. The difference from these two is that a display locker displays on the locker the first item you put in. So if you want to organize your locker, the display lockers are the way to go. The health of a scrap locker is 1500 and the armored locker is 2700, so it's almost double. And that is it for the first episode. If you guys do want to see more of these short tips and tricks, let me know in the comment section below. I hope that you guys did learn something new. And if you have any questions or any particular tips and tricks that you would want me to go over in the next one, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!